My name is Ryan Rodenbach, and I am the co-founder and CEO of Wallfacer Labs. Wallfacer Labs is a crypto research and development company. Our work mostly takes the form of contributing to DAOs and launching interesting products for the crypto markets. Today, I'm very excited to be here to introduce you to your new favorite tool for finding on-chain yields, vaults.fyi. But before I show off the product, maybe let's start with the problem. Uh, maybe I'll ask this to you guys as well. How do you go about finding reliable on-chain yield opportunities? Anybody want to venture out? Okay, urine strategies. DeFi Llama, okay, great. Two perfect examples. So today, DeFi is filled with tons of lucrative on-chain opportunities to earn yield. But like a minefield, where you don't know if your next step could lead to sudden death, DeFi is also filled with rugs, hacks, and just good old-fashioned scams. Using some simple searches, today there is at least 8,000 unique yield opportunities across nearly 400 protocols that you could try and earn yield on. And for most people, that is just too damn much. And that's where we come in. Vaults.fyi is a tool to find and verify the best on-chain yields, or as we like to call it sometimes, a search engine for on-chain yield opportunities. Vaults is a simple, accessible interface for finding the best on-chain yield opportunities across a highly curated list of protocols that have met a number of criteria to prove their credibility. And I just believe that the very bright light is making the contrast look a little bit brighter than it is. But if you look it up on your phone, it's a little bit clearer to see. So why do we start working on this? Like most useful products, Vaults came from us wanting to scratch an itch of our own on a few things, metaphorically speaking. Quickly scanning and verifying the top on-chain yield opportunities is legitimately difficult. As two concrete examples, let's look at two blue chip protocols in crypto, Compound on the left and Aave on the right. If you wanted to see all of the yields offered on Compound, it would require about eight clicks to do that as a user. You would have to individually click on their mainnet USDC market and their mainnet ETH market and their Polygon USDC market, and you get the point. The same is even more true of Aave, where even though they've tried to migrate a lot of their users to V3, they still have many V2 markets that are worth a user's time. And so there it would take about 14 clicks. And let's not even talk about comparing yields across two different markets where you'd have to switch back between a bunch of different tabs. And that's really where Vaults comes in. Vaults, at Vaults, we think about the process of finding yield opportunities through a new interface, through the search interface where using our straightforward interface, you can type in how much you would like to lend, what assets you're considering lending, and for what duration of time. And then our site will spit out the options that make the best sense based on your criteria. So let's go through a real example. Let's say that you are interested in lending 10,000 USDC for one year. Once you type that into our site, it'll spit out these first two options. And if you scroll down, you'll see a few more. Let's say that based on your criteria and what you're interested in, you have some money on Arbitrum already and you want to lend on Arbitrum, and you're familiar with Compound and that seems like a pretty credible spot. At the same time, you still want to learn a little bit more. How big's the vault? What percentage is real yield versus rewards, as you can see up top there? And so you click on more details. And from there, we break out a bunch of different features. You can see the in-depth breakdown between how much of that is real yield, so paid by borrowers versus paid in token incentives, you can confirm that this is Compound V3, the newest, safest instance of the protocol. And you can see the current TVL of the vault as well. With a $10,000 deposit into a $6.4 million vault, you're probably OK. But if you were making a larger deposit into that, that liquid versus locked piece would be very important to understand as well. You don't want to be the last person in there if you need to get your money out in a relatively short period of time. So let's cover where we are today with vaults. Today, we feature a tight set of blue chip protocols and we're quickly expanding our list, aiming to add about one or two or maybe even three protocols per week. And I can see my engineering team there in the back, maybe committing them to something they're not ready for yet, but we'll see. Um, today, the breakdown of what we show, and I'll talk about this on the next slide as well, goes into some features that I think other sites don't cover and that we think provides a unique angle for thinking about yield on these protocols. So for example, the way that we think about the one day, seven day, 30-day approach to yield 
is actually an actual historical perspective so that if you had put your money into one of these protocols seven days ago or 30 days ago, how much would you actually have today? In addition to that, uh, we cover important things like TVL metrics, and over time we'll add other data points as well that we think are important to the lending decisions, maybe some things around risk or other types of factors. So where we're going is trying to create really a new and the, the first stop for any user who's looking to earn yield on-chain. Naturally, I draw the comparison here to Google, which is, you know, you know, maybe a little bit uh, overconfident, but hey, I'm throwing it out there anyway. That's eventually where we aspire to get to, where the way that you go to Google to search for anything, you come to us to search for on-chain yields. More than anything, what we would love for you at this point is feedback on the product. So we have two QR codes up here. On the right, we'll take you directly to our website where you can go, play around. We've actually just made some improvements to the mobile experience, so that should be a little bit cleaner as well. And on the left is a form where we would greatly value your feedback on things that we can add to the product, things that we can improve, and ultimately what would make you a regular user of Volts. And so if I still have a few minutes, I can actually walk you guys through how fast the site works. Volts.fyi. Oops. Let me pop out of that. OK. So today, this is what the site would look like if you landed on there as a first-time user. Let's say that you wanted to lend, let's pick a random number, $24,000. One, two, three. And let's say that you were interested in lending either DAI or USDC or, oh, I forgot DAI, or USDT. Sorry, just gonna have to click this way, whoops. Right, let's just say you're willing to lend any USDC coin and you're willing to lend for 90 days. One of the toggles that we have up top here is actually the ability to filter uh, between protocols that are offering token incentives versus those that are not. Some people, for example, may be more interested in just earning real yield and not having to deal with the hassle of getting comp token or something like that. So we can turn that filter off. Additionally, we can show the APY based on the average of the past 30 days. This is probably the best view to look at if you're looking for something that has the most long-term sustainability. So doing a quick scroll through here, you can see some of the different options that are offered. Given that it's a pretty popular one at the moment, let's take a look at the maker die savings rate. And we can see that today, this has a TVL of 1.3 billion die. You can see that the historical APY has actually been jumping around a lot as it recently spiked up to 8% on some votes and it's kind of settled back down now around five. And you can also probably guess at what point they upped the interest rate to 8%. So these are just some of the things that you can dig into using vaults. We're looking to quickly expand all of the different features and analytics that we offer. And as I said, please, feedback is very encouraged. If you want to grab me or anyone from the team afterwards as well, maybe some folks from the Wallfacer team just raise their hand. Some of those guys back there. Folks in the front, we'd love your feedback and anything that we can do to make the product more useful for you. Thank you very much for your time today, guys.